and welcome to our lesson on using equivalent fractions to write a fraction as a percentage. Per is a common term for division or out of something and the word cent means one hundredth. So percent means something out of one hundred. A number divided by 100. So for question A, we have 16 divided by 100, which is 16%. For question B, again, because it is written as a fraction already over 100, this is simply 20%. For question C, we have 7 tenths, but to write it as a percentage, we need it as a fraction over 100. So we're going to use an equivalent fraction by multiplying the 10 by the 10 to make 100. We do the same to the numerator. We multiply that by 10 and we have 70 one hundredths. And 70 one hundredths is 70%. Question D, we have two tenths, and again, we need it as a fraction over 100. So we're going to multiply the 10 by 10 to make 100. We'll multiply the two by 10 to keep it equivalent, and two times 10 is 20. As a percentage, that is 20%. Okay, do you want to try questions E and F by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question E, we have 6 over 50. To make it a percentage, we need to add a fraction over 100. So we're going to multiply it by 2, because 50 multiplied by 2 makes 100. We'll keep it equivalent by doing the same to the numerator. And 6 times 2 is 12, so we have 12%. For question F, we have 12 over 20. To make it as a fraction over 100, we need to multiply the 20 by 5. And we'll do the same to the numerator. We'll multiply that by 5. And 12 times 5 is 60, which is 60%. Do you want to try questions G and H by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question G. So we have 9 25 as a fraction over 100. We need to multiply the 25 by 4. We'll keep it equivalent by doing the same to the 9. So we have 9 times 4, which is 36 over 100, which is 36%. And finally, for question H, we have 8 fifths which we need to write as a fraction over 100. So we'll multiply the 5 by 20 to make 100. We'll keep it equivalent by doing the same to the numerator. So we have 8 times 20, which is 160. So that is 160%. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And take care.